Ihr gucken mit Hans. Guten Tag, Recruits. Today I am preparing my skillets for cooking. These pans are very important for everything you do for cooking. One, you got to make sure that uh, they're clean. You want to make sure you, they're not rust in them. You can do that with simple oils. This is sesame seed oil or vegetable oil. It's called seasoning. First thing you do is make sure you have no grease or stuck on foods. That is a would be a health violation if you're cooking for large groups. So you make sure all the foods are cleaned off you can use this water, but do not put these in washing machines because they will rust, and I mean rust. You would spend maybe an hour or so, depending on how many you stuck in that washing machine. I spent about an hour cleaning up a big old pot once. And make sure there's no grease, because you don't want a grease fire. So like residue of bacon grease and things like that because well it gets messy so clean off all food grease before you start seasoning your pans sometimes out on camping trips if you got like food stuck right onto that pan and it's hard to get off all you do is just stick it on the back on the fire and burn it right off. You just put a little, doesn't take much, doesn't take much. So this here will help make sure your pans don't, the food doesn't stick to your pans. And you don't want to use chemical detergents or cleaners that they like uh, use for uh, stove and stuff that you know when don't do that because uh, for one thing uh, your food's not going to taste very good it's going to taste like uh, oh got the uh, very uh, pine salty taste to it that's that's why you know and you can make people sick you can, also, you can use salt as an abrasive. My ceramic teacher once uh, told the class that one time they made a punch bowl. They used the borax, borax in the glaze. That was a big mistake because the bowl came out beautiful. But everybody who drank from it, well, let's just say, They weren't running a marathon. They were running. <laughs> it gave them everybody the runs. Borax will act like a laxative. It will just everything you got. So use a little vegetable oil or sesame seed oil. Salt as an abrasive. This will help clean. The salt will help clean off any uh, stuck on stuff like uh, anything that's burnt on because it's better and it adds a little seasoning as well you know so and when you get done this is a non has not been cleaned yet but look at this look how dark it is that's what you want to see so, 
the, the more time, off, the often as more time as you can, uh, <laughs> you clean this like this, and uh, afterwards, what you do is you put it on the stove, turn it on. It doesn't have to be on very high, and you bake the oil on there. Because for one thing, it is a vegetable oil. If you're going to leave that on there without uh, heating it up, yeah, you're going to be recleaning it. So this pan here, you can stick in a dishwasher, and you can use dishwashing soap and stuff like that. But I wouldn't use that on uh, cast iron because cast iron is very hard to clean at times when you uh, overcook something. <laughs> so, oh, and I forgot the most important thing, the word of the day, waza. Waza means water. So that is our German word for the day. Please hit that like and subscribe button for future videos. And if uh, you know somebody who's interested in reenactments or uh, period cooking, there's plenty of sites online like uh, Cooking with Hans, Townsend and Sons. So, good day, and I'll be the same.